Hey, I'm Adam Jusko from ProudMoney.com. In this video, we are going to look at YouTube TV versus Hulu Plus Live TV versus Sling TV versus Direct TV Stream versus Fubo TV versus Philo and even a handful of other streaming services. Now, the type of streaming services we are tackling in this video is sort of that replacement for traditional cable. So in most cases, though not all, we are going to have services that have your local ABC, CBS, NBC affiliate and then a package of what we could think of as cable-ish channels like ESPN, Disney Channel, Nick and Nick Jr., Discovery Channel, CNN or Fox News. All of that kind of stuff is what we're going to be taking a look at. Now, when the cord cutting streaming revolution first started, everyone thought that it was going to be much cheaper than cable to be getting our entertainment in this new way. That has sort of changed over time. Number one, because the price of these streaming services has gone up. Number two, because of the fact that in order to get your entertainment this way, you also need a high speed internet connection. So you're gonna to have to be paying for that in addition to paying for the entertainment itself. In addition, in order to use the streaming services, you're either going to need a smart TV that can connect to the internet or you're gonna need something like a uh, Roku device or an Apple TV device or a uh, Amazon Fire Stick. Now, the upside to these services, even though they have become much more expensive is they still are a little cheaper than cable, I think, especially in some markets where the uh, cable bills can get completely outrageous and you don't have the fact that there's a lot of extra taxes on them and other fees on cable that we have come to expect. When you choose to use a streaming service, you don't have to have anybody come to your house and hook anything up. And if you decide you don't like it after a week, you can just cancel and get right out of it and try a different one if you want to. That said, in this video, we are going to be comparing these services on five aspects. Number one is going to be price. Number two is going to be channel selection, including whether they have your local uh, CBS, ABC, NBC affiliates as part of the package. We are going to be looking at how much DVR recording space you get and how long it takes before the things you record expire. We are gonna look at multiple streams. So if people want to be watching watching the same service in multiple places, how many people can do that. And then we'll also look at the number of user profiles you get. User profiles are something that allow you to have each person who may be in your home have their own profile so that they can get recommendations based on what they've watched in the past. They can pick up where they have left off if they're in the middle of a TV series or in the middle of a movie or whatever. So user profiles can help everyone kind of have their own personalized version of a service. So let's start with YouTube. YouTube TV, which as I make this video is probably the service that I would say is the best for the most number of people. It gives you a great number of those sort of traditional cable-ish channels and the pricing compared to the competitors makes sense. So $64.99 per month as I make this video. You're getting your local channels as part of this, your ABC, NBC, CBS affiliates. You're also going to get your uh, local PBS channel, which not all of these services have. You are going to have ESPN. You're gonna have the three sort of big sports networks, the NFL Network, MLB, MLB TV, NBA TV. You are going to have Nick and Nick Jr. You're gonna have Disney and Disney XD. You're going to have CNN and Fox. Fox News, you are going to have just a wealth of channels that you would think of that you probably want. Very few things left out of YouTube TV in terms of sort of the big names, although I will say that A&E, History Channel, Lifetime, left out of YouTube TV. Which brings up an important point, or maybe two important points. All of these services are gonna have a lot of channels available to you, but none of these services are gonna have all of the channels that you might want. So if you have one or two deal breaker channels that you have to have, you still wanna to go to the service, go to their website, put in your zip code, and look at all of the channels that they are offering to make sure that the things that you want are part of the package. If you just assume they're part of the package, you might find out, oh, they've got 75 or 120 channels, but not that one or two that I really want. So in YouTube TV, TV's case, talking about A&E and uh, Lifetime and the History Channel not being in there, but in other services, it's gonna be the other way. They're gonna have those things, but then they're not gonna have maybe some of the things that YouTube TV does. And then the second part of that is the fact 
that some of these services are going to have the uh, regional sports networks that sometimes cost extra, potentially as part of the package, but oftentimes they're not going to have them as part of the package. In particular, there is uh, Bally Sports owned by uh, Sinclair Broadcasting that has the rights to a lot of local sports teams. And in many cases, that is not part of the package. It is not part of the package with YouTube TV. Sometimes you can buy Bally sort of on its own. In some cases, you have to buy it as part of a different service. So we're gonna be talking about those as well. YouTube TV offers unlimited DVR recording so you can record as many shows as you want to to watch later. They do expire after nine months, which is a good long time. You can have three simultaneous streams, meaning three different people can be watching three different things in three different places in your home. You can have up to six user profiles, which means up to six different people can set up a profile under the umbrella account and get personalized recommendations based on what they have watched in the past or pick up where they left off in a TV series or movie or whatever. So plenty of space for everyone there. Now, YouTube TV, and this is true of some of the other services, has what they call a home network, which means you have to establish the service on one TV in a physical place to begin with, and that is going to be sort of the base. And you still can use the service with other mobile devices and take it with you when you go other places, but you can't, for example, if you have a second home, have it run on the second TV at the same time. Now you can change your home network from the first location to a secondary location, and I realize this is somewhat confusing. They do kind of want to restrict you, and YouTube TV is not alone in that. That is true of the others as well. If I had to tell you one to get without knowing what you really want, this is probably where I'd start. Next up is Hulu plus live TV. As I make this video, $69.99 per month. You are going to get your local channels with Hulu plus live TV, your ABC, CBS, NBC affiliates. You're gonna get a ton of those cable-ish channels that we have talked about, your ESPN, your Disney and Disney XD, Nick and Nick Jr., CNN, Fox News. You are going to get A&E and the History Channel and Lifetime, which you did not get with YouTube TV. So a ton of channels. Now there are some channels you're not going to get. So again, make sure you check if you have deal breaker channels. Because Hulu Plus Live TV does not have your local PBS, they are not going to have MLB TV, they are not gonna have the NBA TV, so some stuff left out here. Now what Hulu also does have is the Hulu streaming service that is the original streaming service that was sort of a Netflix competitor, meaning you've got your Hulu original programming, which is original movies, original TV series, and then a library of on-demand content as well. Plus, in the last year and a half or so, they have added Disney Plus and ESPN Plus to the whole Hulu Plus live TV package. Probably for most people that Disney Plus in particular is something that might be attractive to you. All right, recording and streams. You have unlimited DVR recording with Hulu Plus live TV. The things that you record are going to expire and go off your DVR after nine months. You get two simultaneous streams. Two different people can be using the service on different devices at the same time. You have up to six user profiles where people can personalize their content, create their sort of account within an account like we talked about. We do have the home network, again, that concept with Hulu Plus Live TV where you have to set up a sort of home base and you can change it throughout the year, but you do have to uh, kind of set that up and if you move to somewhere for part of the year, you're gonna wanna reset it up in the new place and you can change it up to four times over 12 months. So overall, when you look at Hulu Plus Live TV, it's a little more expensive than YouTube TV, but you're getting a little bit more in terms of original content content with it as well. So you have to decide whether that makes sense to you, whether you care enough about that. If you're just trying to replace your old cable and you don't care about extra original content, then maybe YouTube TV is the way to go. But if you're willing to pay a little bit more for a little bit more, you might choose Hulu Plus Live TV. 
All right, now let's talk about Sling TV, which is cheaper than the first two services we talked about, but is also a different animal. Most importantly, it does not have your local ABC, CBS, NBC affiliates as part of the package. So if you can pick those up with an antenna at your house or through some other means, well, then you might like Sling because it's going to cost you less money. For some people, if it's difficult to pick up those local affiliates, you're going to have to spend a little bit more to get one of the more expensive packages. Now, that's not the only thing that is different with Sling. So Sling actually has three potential packages you could go after. There is Sling Orange, which is $40. There's Sling Blue, which is $40. Or you could get both of them, and that would be $55 per month. Well, that sounds good, but the way that Sling does things is sort of they surgically kind of cut the desirable channels into some of them going into orange, some of them going into blue, obviously with the desire to push you to the package where you are paying more to get both of them at the same time. So the Sling Orange at $40 a month is going to include Disney, it's going to include uh, ESPN and a lot of other cable-ish channels, but then it's going to leave out some things like Bravo, you're not going to have NFL Network, you're not going to have uh, Fox News and other Fox channels, and some other stuff left out. Or you could go after the Blue, which is $40 per month, and it will have a lot of those channels like Bravo and the NFL Network and Fox News and Fox Programming, but it's not going to have Disney. It's not going to have ESPN. So they've sort of cut it down the middle where if you want all of those things, you're going to have to get the package where you pay for both of them. Now, there's a little price break maybe at $55, depending on how you look at it, but that's what it's going to take in order for you to get all of the programming that both of those offer. Sling offers 50 hours of DVR recording. There is no expiration on the things that you record, but if you get to the end of that 50 hours and you wanna put more on, the oldest stuff is gonna go away in order to make room for the new. In terms of simultaneous streams, a little confusing here. In that orange package, it's only one stream at a time. In the blue package, three simultaneous streams. Now, if you pay for both of them together at that $55 per month, you might think that you would get even more streams, but you would be wrong. Anything that is in that orange package and only in that orange package, in particular ESPN and Disney, you can only have one person watching at a time. Anything that is in the blue package or is shared between the blue and the orange, those ones are gonna have the three simultaneous streams, but you're not going to get more than that by paying for both. You've got four user profiles with Sling TV, so you can have personalized versions of things for up to four people. You don't have the same home network deal with this one where you have to worry about checking in or changing your home network. You pretty much are free to use Sling as you please. No original programming with Sling, so that's not part of the uh, equation here. So when you look at what Sling is offering, it is cheaper than the other services. If you can get your local channels, you can get, you know, kind of a price break there. So it all depends on what you want, what you need. All right, let's talk about DirecTV Stream. As I make this video, pricing about to change. Their base package, $74.99 per month is what it is going up to. It is similar to what YouTube TV and Hulu Plus Live TV are offering, but more expensive, at least that's my opinion as I make this video. You're getting your local channels, your local uh, affiliates, and you're also getting that sort of package of cable-ish channels. Like I've said, if you've got deal breaker channels, make sure to check and see what is there and what is not there. But I don't think they're necessarily offering anything better than YouTube TV or Hulu Plus Live TV overall. Now, what is important to know about DirecTV Stream is you've got that $74.99 entertainment package that I just talked about, but then the next level up is the choice package at $99.99 per month, or at least that's what it's going up to as I make this video. So that is going to give you everything that the entertainment package gave you, and it's going to give you even some extra channels, but most importantly, what it's going to give you is access to the regional sports networks that normally you either would not have access to or would have to pay extra to get somewhere else. So essentially you're going to pay $20 plus more versus the uh, first package we talked about to get access to one of those Bally's sports networks if that's what you have to watch your local baseball team or basketball team or whoever 
or if you have some other local sports that you could not get other ways other than through cable, you can get it here, but you're gonna pay for it. So you've got unlimited DVR with DirecTV Stream with the same nine month expiration that YouTube TV and Hulu Plus Live TV had. You are going to have, in terms of simultaneous streams, unlimited within your home, and then you're gonna have three on-the-go streams that you also can have. In terms of user accounts underneath the sort of umbrella account, looks like you don't have them with DirecTV Stream. They've been talking about getting them for a long time, but as far as I can tell, it's still just everybody on one account, so there's no personalization. We also do have the home network concept here with DirecTV Stream, where you're gonna have to have sort of a home base that you declare and you can change it multiple times throughout the year if you have multiple homes, if you live in multiple places throughout the year, but you do have to sort of zero in on one and tell them this is where I am, and you have to check in every so often. DirecTV Stream probably my least favorite of the big five services that we are going to talk about in this video, a little more expensive, but if you want those regional sports networks, it's one of the few ways to get them outside of actually having cable. All right, the last of the big five, as I think of them, is Fubo TV. Starts at $74.99 per month for their base package. You are going to get your local ABC, NBC, CBS affiliates with Fubo. You're going to get that long list of cable-ish channels that you would expect. Again, make sure to check exactly what is available in your area if you have any deal-breaker channels. Fubo probably most differentiates itself by the fact that it also has a lot of sort of extra sports channels where you can watch things that you wouldn't be able to get with a lot of these other services in particular things like uh, European soccer on different channels that kind of thing so if you follow soccer from afar in the US that might be something that would appeal to you with Fubo now one of the things that's happening with Fubo as I make this video is that they are about to add the ability or they're going to add it into their packages these regional sports networks now i just said with direct tv stream that that essentially upped your uh, monthly cost by 20 bucks or 25 bucks if you wanted those compared to the base package fubo has not said exactly what it's going to do to their pricing or when exactly those regional sports networks are going to be available. So if you sign up for Fubo, you might get a nasty surprise or maybe a good surprise, depending on how you feel about it when they add those regional sports networks. You might have access to something that you thought you could only could only get through DirecTV Stream, but how much more it's going to cost is still up in the air. So make sure, for sure, that you check that if you're thinking about Fubo. Fubo offers 1,000 hours of DVR recording time. Not sure if there is an expiration on those, but 1,000 hours is definitely a lot in terms of simultaneous streams. Looks like you can have three simultaneous streams, and then they also talk about the fact that you can be on 10 screens at home so it's a little opaque in terms of what that really means. Looks like you can be on 10 screens at home and you can have two screens away, but in terms of all of them using the service at the same time, you're still limited to three, which for most people is probably plenty. You can have up to six user profiles where everyone can personalize the uh, service. Not sure if you have that home network aspect to Fubo, so that's something you definitely would want to check out. So those are the biggest players in the streaming game when it comes to sort of replacing traditional cable, but let's talk about a few other services that are either uh, cheaper or free altogether if you have a lower budget or no entertainment budget at all. Let's start with Philo that has a $25 per month cost. It is sort of a sling competitor in that it does not have your local channels. You'll have to get those through an antenna or whatever other magical way that you might pick them up. But for $25 a month, you're going to get about 60 cable-ish channels. Again, you'll want to check the line up there to see if those are things that work for you or not. It's going to have unlimited DVR and the things you record are going to last a year. you got three simultaneous streams on multiple devices. You've got up to 10 user accounts underneath so you can get some personalization. Now let's talk about three free options that have some original programming, but for the most part are just going to be old TV series, old movies that you can either watch on demand, or they're going to have multiple channels that are just running all the time where you can jump in and watch whatever happens to be on at the moment. Those are Pluto TV, 
Tubi TV, and the Roku channel. So that is it for most people. I would probably say if you are cutting the cord, start with YouTube TV and see how that works out for you. And then you can move on from there if you want to. Like I said, it is easy to jump in and jump out of these services. If you don't like how one is working, you can go to a different one. If they raise the price on you and you think it's too much, you can go to one that is cheaper. You have all kinds of options, much easier to move around with these services than it is with cable. If you have any questions or comments, put those in that comment section below. Otherwise, I thank you for watching. And as always, please go to proudmoney.com where we do credit card reviews. We talk personal finance, we talk deals, and all sorts of other fun stuff too. If you're not going to leave a comment or go to the website, you might want to watch this video next.